Hello everyone. Good evening. And uh, please confirm uh, whether you can see my screen properly and listen to my voice properly. Yeah, that's right. So the topic of today's uh, Bollinger Bands and the ADX. Today we're going to see how you can uh, use the concept of the ADX, also the concept of the Bollinger Bands effectively in your trading. So just to refresh yourself, what is uh, ADX first? We go on to our course slides once again. What is this? ADX stands for Average Directional Index. And it is used to quantify the trend strength. Remember, yaad rakhiega, ye aapka trend strength ko quantify karta hai, rather than trend direction. Trend direction koi bhi ho, either long or short, it will describe you whether the direction long or short have strength in it or not means agar long position hai so it can still go long or agar short position hai so still there is a significant downside all the adx calculations are actually based on this uh, moving averages of the price range over a given period of time so whatever it's your uh, execution time frame is and whatever it's your uh, application time frame is you have to decide that particular range in between and then accordingly give your uh, mind thought for your particular direction and trade accordingly as i said it doesn't matter whether your direction is long or short it is non-directional in nature so it registers trend strength whether price is trending up or price is trending down. Now, you can measure ADX values ke se, apne trend ki strength ko measure kar sakte hain. Like if the ADX value is between 0 to 25, so there is absence or a weak trend. In a nutshell, if the ADX value agar 0 se 25 ke beech mein hai, to it tells you that the market is sideways on an index. Or agar aap koi stock specific trading kar rahe hai, to agar ADX ki value 0 or 25 ke beech mein hai, then the stock is not trending, it is moving sideways. Ab अगर ADX की value it's from uh, 25 to 50 है, then there is a very strong trend, right? So it means uh, that uh, if the ADX values are somewhere around close to in between the range, if I take 30 to 40, then you have a very strong trend going up or going down and you can take your trade accordingly and if the ADX values are above 50 to 75 then it's a very strong trend whether up or down and if the values of the ADX is above 70 then it's not actually an extremely strong trend it means the ADX values above 60 or 70 is an unsustainable trend. So, agar aap ADX ki values ke hisaap se apna trade lete hai, long or short, you should enter in between when the ADX values are something around 30, so that you develop yourself and maintain yourself that you are in that particular trend. And as soon as you reach the value which is roughly close to 60 or 70 in between, you should exit your position from long or 
short right remember this let's see some of the our other slides like here adx you see you have a steadily moving increasing adx right and that's how you see there is in a steady uptrend hmm? the adx values are moving from somewhere from 25 and they are going up and up till somewhere around close to 50 and from adx value 50 you see the price started to oscillate means neither it's going down neither is going up so means it's on a sideways pattern and that's how you see the adx value which is started to decline and from fit 50 it started to go and reach to somewhere around 20 which is no trend so that's why how you can actually interpret the adx in your charts so this is for an uptrend and let's see for a downtrend you see there is a steady downtrend and you see the adx value started to rise up and as soon as it crosses the 20 or 25 line the trend develop and then you see there is a sudden fall in that and that's how you see an increasing adx in the for this particular short trade and as soon as the adx value reaches somewhere close to 50 or 55 then as we have seen the trend is unsustainable so jab trend unsustainable ho jayega then there is a tendency more or less jyada tar scripts kisi bhi major movements ke baad whether it's an upward movement or whether it's a downward movement they have a tendency to go for a sideways fashion where there is a tug of war between the buyer and the seller and that's how this tug of war will decide that particular scripts further direction like in woe further direction may define hone ke pehle there is a lot of oscillations on the upward and the downward size and then as you see the trend become unsustainable here and that's how you see the adx value start to decrease and the price is working on a sideways fashion so abhi actually kya hai ki aapne uptrend or downtrend dono ke example dekhe अब इसीलिए मैंने क्लब किया है एडीएक्स और बॉलिंजर बैंड्स को कि व्हेन थिंग्स आर इन ट्रेंड जब आप ट्रेंड में हो तब आप एडीएक्स का यूज करेंगे लॉन्ग और शॉर्ट डायरेक्शंस में जाने के लिए लेकिन एज आई सेड जब कुछ स्क्रिप्ट्स साइडवेज फैशन में आ जाएंगी देन हाउ यू गोना डू दैट फॉर दैट यू जस्ट नीड टू मेक दिस एज अ साइडवेज फैशन so sideways fashion mein hum use karenge bollinger bands ka jis pe main abhi aata hu another example of the adx if you see that particular script is ranging means sideways and that's how you see the adx values are between 0 to 25 means sideways market and as soon as the price started to move up in a trending you see a strong increase in the adx value from that 25 till it reaches to somewhere close to 70 then the market as we have seen whenever the adx value reaches above 70 then the market all that particular script become unsustainable so here again it started to range in a sideways fashion means here as i said it's going to be a tug of war between the buyer and the seller here 
and as soon as if there is a breakout in the upward or in the downward direction in this case the downward you see the adx value again start to increase so it started to increase from 25 and again it goes back to 70 and as soon as it goes back to 70 here then this downward trend become unsustainable and that's how the script started to range and that's how you see the ADX value goes to less than 25 and then further from here there is a breakout in the downward direction and you see as this particular strip has passing through this downward movement and then you see accordingly the ADX value start to increase right so just uh, uh, for one minute uh, I'm, I'm just grabbing a glass of water please have a look on this chart and then correspondingly see the ADX value I'll just come just to bring a glass of water for me right just for a minute please Yeah, sorry guys, I just need to take a glass of water for me because I'm uh, feeling not well in a way. Anyways, so this is all about the ADX. Again, I go back to here. So, agar ADX value 0 to 25 ke beach mein hai, there is uh, no trend. 25 ke upar jaise value move karni chalu hogi, then you have a strong trend. And anything above in the range of 60 to 70, then that particular trend is unsustainable. So, what do we do? We have to wait for the long or short. We have to see the ADX value where these values are and trade accordingly. So, a thumb rule you should enter into long or short when you see the ADX value close to 30. Remain in that trend till you find the ADX value close to 60. So, as an Academy member, your ranges are ADX 30, you have to enter and you have to get out at ADX 60. Ye hamesha dhyan rakhiega, isko apne thumb rule mein rakhiega. Whether it's up or down, enter at 30, exit at 60, ADX values, right? Now, as uh, I have shown you this trend, you can trade the trending market with respect to the ADX. What about this scenario when the market turns to be sideways or ranging? Then Mr. John Bollinger, who is my mentor, he has given the best tool to deal with all the scripts or the market who are ranging. अब रेंजिंग कैसे आप प्रेडिक्ट करोगे कि ये मार्केट कैसे रेंजिंग कर रहा है आपको पता है जब ADX की वैल्यू क्लोज टू मींस 0 से 25 के बीच में हो लेस देन 25 देन द मार्केट और दैट पर्टिकुलर स्क्रिप्ट विल कैरेक्टराइज एज रेंजिंग सो जस्ट प्लीज रिमेंबर दैट नाउ लेट्स सी द बॉलिंजर बैंड्स व्हिच इज the main tool which we're going to use for the sideways market. I'll show you on the terminal also how you can use these two techniques in greater detail. So what Bollinger Band mein kya hota hai? Basically, it's a use of a moving average with two trending bands above and below it. Aur wo jo do trending bands hote hai, वो जो हमने मूविंग एवरेज हम यूज कर रहे हैं उसका कैलकुलेशन होता है स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन से 
one standard deviation or two standard deviation what is standard deviation it's the deviation from the mean value a particular number how far it varies from its mean value it's characterized by the standard deviation so we have a moving average and above and below we have two bands that could be you can set your settings i use the two standard deviation so one moving average and two bands one on top or dusra usse below with two standard deviation settings that a person needs to use so bollinger bands consist of first of all a center line and two price channels you can as i mentioned those standard deviations these are basically the two price channels above and below it and the center line it's an exponential moving average so as the price move from the mean mean mein hamara center moving line hai ab price us center moving line se jitna upar jata hai means expand hota hai ya niche aata hai means contract hota hai to jo expansion aur jo contraction ka jo measurement hai ye standard deviation se ek थ्री बैंड सिस्टम फॉर्म करते हैं वेन एवर द वैल्यूज आर क्लोज टू द मीन और टू द सेंटर लाइन यू विल हैव ए स्क्वीज इन द बॉलिंजर बैंड एंड वेन एवर यू सी द वैल्यूज आर टू फार फ्रॉम द मीन वेदर इट्स ऑन द अपर बैंड और ऑन द लोअर बैंड दैट विल बी कैरेक्टराइज बाई दैट स्टैंडर्ड एविएशन और ध्यान रखिएगा जो मैंने आपको एक कंसेप्ट बताया था विच इज बॉलेंजर बैंड स्क्वीज का दैट वर्क्स प्रिटी वेल विद रेफरेंस टू एनी पर्टिकुलर एक्सप्लोसिव मूव किसी भी स्क्रिप्ट में अगर आप एक बॉलेंजर बैंड्स की फनल देखो मींस कि एक बॉलेंजर बैंड्स का बहुत रेंज बाउंड मूवमेंट में उस स्क्रिप्ट का मूवमेंट हो रहा है उस मूवमेंट के बाद उसके अपर बैंड को या उसके लोअर बैंड को जहां से भी ब्रेकआउट होगा देर इज गोइंग टू बी एन एक्सप्लोसिव मूव तो अगर आप किसी स्क्रिप्ट में इस तरह का वॉलेटलिटी फनल देखें विद इन द बॉलिंग बैंड देन अकॉर्डिंगली यू जस्ट सिंपली वेट फॉर द कंफर्मेशन दैट इट इज ब्रेकिंग ईदर टूवर्ड्स द अपवर्ड साइड और towards the downward side and then trade accordingly with your stop loss on that upper or the lower bollinger band and it works in all time frame whether it's for intraday whether it's for swing or whether it's for your long term trades please remember again bollinger bands are best tool to work in the sideways market conditions for any particular script or for any particular stock they are not good for any of the scripts which are trending to jo trending scripts hain unko hame dusre methods use karne hain like our macd all the moving average crossover or the adx as the number of systems which i have given you aapko maine bahut sare systems diye hain and you need to judge when i need to use those systems they have certain conditions so for trending market there is a different set of tools and for sideways market it's a different set of tools you should combine this adx and bollinger bands together to get more insight of your trade confirmation like aap adx value se decide karenge ki market mein abhi trend hai ki nahi hai aur agar market ranging hai then you use the bollinger bands aur agar adx ki values more than uh, 25 hai as per our thumb rule something around 30 then you should enter in the long and short direction and whenever you find the adx value 60 get out from that trade and then use the bollinger bands 
to trade from there so in a nutshell it should be the combination of the adx and the bollinger bands in your trading style whichever suits you so abhi dekhte hain kuch aur uh, examples bollinger bands ke so you see the bollinger bands it's the script is going down and then it as far as it goes towards the mean it goes up then it goes touches the lower band then it goes and touches the upper band then it goes and touches the lower band and simultaneously touches the lower band sometimes the script departs from this uh, midline so for our trading style what we going to do because price can stay for long in this lower band and also price can stay for long in this upper band that's a limitation but for us as i have told you jaisa maine aapko pehle bola hai hum long ya short is center line se lenge jab bhi center line ke upar script ka close hoga we go long aur jab bhi center line se niche script ka close hoga we go short and our immediate target would be in this case this upper band and in this case the lower band again i am repeating that hum hamesha median line ko consider karenge median line ke upar jaise hi kisi script ki closing hogi this like in this case we will become long from here with our stop loss just below this middle center line and our profit targets are immediately touching that upper band right and in this case now we book our profit and we don't do anything now we again wait and then when the price close below this center line then we become short here with our stop loss above that center line and our immediate target would be this lower band that's how you trade the bollinger bands right let's see another thing you see as i said this 20 day sma it's the center line ye aapka center line hai aur two standard deviation ka upper band hai aur two standard deviation ka lower band generally jab bhi scripts uh, sideways movements mein hoti hai they have a tendency to move from the upper band to the lower band then to the upper band then to the lower band then to the upper band and lower band but in this case also we will only trade once we have got the close above the center line so we'll become long here we put our stop loss somewhere here below the center line and our immediate target is this upper band right similarly in this case if you have a close here then you have to be short here with your stop loss somewhere here and your immediate target is this lower band like in this case also if this closes below the center line you became short here you put your stop loss just above the center line and then your immediate target would be this lower bollinger band so the philosophy yahan pe kya hai philosophy ye hai ki koi bhi particular script it's the concept of uh, this kinetic energy and the potential energy conservation so jab bhi koi script ya index अपने मीन सेंटर लाइन से टू स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन ऊपर जाती है तो एट सम पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम देन इट हैज टू रिट्रेस बैक एंड देन इन मोस्ट ऑफ द केसेस इट रिट्रेस बैक टू इट्स माइनस टू स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन लाइन सो ये अपॉर्चुनिटीज आपको देता है और स्टॉक मार्केट में देयर आर वेरियस स्क्रिप्ट्स on which you can do the technical filtering based on this adx that which are the scripts which are in the range uh, whose values are just uh, somewhere close to in between 10 to 20 and then you apply the bollinger bands onto them and trade accordingly right that would be straight forward so just simply say uh, let's go and just uh, check it out with reference to the adx so i open this and i go to my i charts where i would like to see 
the scripts which are ranging and I will just simply filter the, on ADS. Huh? So I go to this screener, end of data, end of day. Right. And then There was a problem with the response text anyway so i'll tell you in our next class what is the problem but you know in i charts you just simply go and uh, search on the basis of the adx so the value of the adx on those scripts which are between 0 to 25 you will get that list and then you just simply apply those bollinger bands on top of it and then trade accordingly एक बार ध्यान रखिएगा हमेशा अपने रिस्क मैनेजमेंट के हिसाब से ही ट्रेड कीजिएगा अपनी पोजीशन साइज को कंट्रोल में रख के ट्रेड कीजिएगा एंड देन ओनली यू कैन बिकम प्रॉफिटेबल इन नेचर राइट सो दिस यस देयर इज अनदर कांसेप्ट जो मैं आपको बॉलिंजर बैंड स्क्वीज का बता रहा था व्हेन एवर यू सी देयर स्क्वीजिंग मींस फ्रॉम द अपसाइड एंड फ्रॉम द डाउनसाइड ऑन दिस बॉलिंजर बैंड्स मींस the upper band and the lower band are more or less contracting towards the center line jab bhi upper band ya lower band center line ke bilkul pass mein aake react karne lage then you just simply wait abhi is example mein there was a breakout in the upward direction so jab bhi is narrow band ke baad consolidation is a squeeze ke baad एक्सपेंशन ब्रेकआउट होगा वेदर अप और डाउन इट्स गोइंग टू बी एक्सप्लोसिव जस्ट लाइक यू सी यहाँ पे ये काफी रेंज बाउंड मूवमेंट हो रहा था जिसमें अपर बैंड और लोअर बैंड मोर और लेस सेंटर लाइन के पास में आ गए थे जहां से जैसे ही ब्रेकआउट हुआ यू सी हाउ यू सी द स्काई राइजिंग वैल्यूज ऑफ द प्राइस ऑन द अपर डायरेक्शन राइट so this is uh, uh, more and the similar here you see you have a squeeze here in the price where this upward and the downward lines are more or less closing each other then you have a breakout which is significant in the upward direction downward direction here and then you can enjoy your profits here but always trail your stop loss and as soon as you hit your target you simply exit here रिमेंबर ये ध्यान रखिएगा बुकिंग द प्रॉफिट फ्रॉम द सिस्टम इज एज इम्पॉर्टेंट एज एंट्रिंग इन टू द ट्रेड इन ए ट्रेड जैसा मैं आपको पहले भी बोलता हूँ यू शुड नो वेन इट्स योर एंट्री वेर इट्स योर स्टॉप लॉस एंड वॉट इज योर प्रॉफिट टारगेट इफ यू डोंट हैव दीज थ्री इंफॉर्मेशन इन योर हैंड then don't trade simple right so let's go to our terminal first and i'll show you how you can do that so this is i have already logged in on our platform which we use always and uh, i'll show you on charts like say i'm just randomly starting with this nifty listing huh? so if i click on this acc Now I have couple of uh, listings, so I just simply remove everything from here first. I don't remove this uh, MACD. I keep that MACD. Then I right. So whether I should remove the MACD also to get clear in nature. Huh? We'll do this MACD and also in everything. So this is uh, the daily chart of the. acc hmm? you see if i try to put uh, the bollinger bands here hmm? so to do that what i needs to do right click go to the study manager here and in the study manager i have to click on add and then 
I can type here the band Bollinger, but I have my listing here. So this is the band Bollinger and this is the parameter for that band Bollinger. I am interested in this 20 simple moving average within standard deviation of 2. You can refine it also, but uh, I just simply you just change one thing. I just use exponential in case of the simple and rest of the settings. I just keep the by default, right? So I hit an add. So I have got my Bollinger Bands with my setting placed on the system. Here you see, if I start from here, you see, as soon as the price crosses this center line, which is my 20 period EMA, it has a tendency to move up, right? I can book a good profits here. Here, I don't have to trade. Remember what I have said? So, here, there is no closing in my center line. Ke niche nahi hui. Abhi yahan pe ek interesting phenomena hua. Yahan pe squeeze hua. Upper band and lower band. Ka. You see how this uh, uh, bands are actually coming together. Hmm? So, in this case, what has happened? That is a contraction in the price. Right? So here, what's happening that uh, after that, there is a, as the price closes below the center line, and after that you see the explosive moves in the downward direction. Now we have concept here, price closes above it. We became long from here. We put our stop loss here. And then we can trade accordingly. Right? So Bollinger Bands go up volatility funnel or squeeze and expansion ke hisab se trade kar sakte hai. Sideways market mein best TD karta hai. Lekin agar aap is center line ko consider karte hai. Or center line ke hisab se apne trades lete hai. Then you can also as in a trending market with your modified settings. Let's see another thing. We'll see uh, approximately five. Let's see Ambuja cement. How this Ambuja cement is reacting, right? You see how important this is center line. So if the price close below center line, you became short. If the price close above center line, you become long and long and short, long and short. And then you have multiple opportunities to trade, right? Let's see Asian paint. So you see here, you see the squeeze and expansion phenomena. Aapne dekha normal iska yaha pe squeeze hua. Dono bands ka. Okay. Two standard deviation plus and two standard deviation minus are coming closer to each other. And as soon as you see this, then you just wait for the breakout. In this case, the breakout is in the upward direction. You became long here with your stop loss here and book your profit target somewhere here and trail your stop loss still here. But in eventually, in this case also, you have extremely good profits. Now, in this area, you don't do anything. And once you see the price closes below the center line, then you became short here, put your stop loss somewhere here, and your profit targets would be the immediate lower part. Similarly, you became long here and you became short here, right? And then you became short here. So that's how you trade the Asian pin. Now let's see the Axis Bank. You see, in this case, there is uh, this uh, volatility expansion and all those things, right? You have a closing here, and then you see 
how much uh, downfall you have here right and then you do simply don't do anything you book your profits here wait for its close upwards it closes here and then you see the upward side and you can book your profits here right so it works more or less in 90 percent cases here you see if you have this is the squeeze and then you see an explosive move in the upward side and that's what it limit is because you see in this case the Bajaj Auto starts to trend in the upward direction hmm? ये upward direction में गया अगर हम इसकी trend line mark करते हैं तो somewhere is uh, this is uh, the trend line of uh, say if I consider this it's in the upward direction and you see now the Bollinger Band has some kind of limitation but if we just simply trade on our basis here we became long from here and we trail our stop loss just because it is trending we can trade this also in a trending market with our modified settings right and then we can use the Fibonacci or anything to define our profit targets let's see another script Bank of Baroda you see you see this how you can predict the explosive move here you have this uh, volatility funnel and the price closes somewhere here you became long here and you have this huge profits here right and that's here this again becomes ranging so you can't do anything if you have a closing here then you only become short and you can book your profit targets in this lower part which it has reached then afterwards it will become more or less sideways or a little bit on the downside right so let's see two more scripts Bharti Airtel you see in Bharti Airtel also you see this phenomena you have a squeeze and then you have an explosive move in the upward direction so you just trade once you see this and you have a here and then you can have for any of the direction huh agar yahan pe yahi squeeze ke baad ye lower band ko cross kiya hota ya lower band ki taraf touch kiya hota then it will definitely have a very good short move in the downward direction because you see the concept is all these uh, values are actually optimizing themselves with reference to the central line which is 20 EMA in this case as how far the price can go in the upward direction and also how far the price can go into the downward direction let's see one more script hail you see i have done some other analysis on the hill but that is the support and the resistance map but anyways i remove all those things so i just simply click and click on remove tool because i do most of my analysis on daily charts on certain scripts where i define actually my this accumulation and the distribution area so i remove all and then you see you have a squeeze here you have a very explosive downward move here and then it's ranging with reference to the upper band lower band upper band lower band upper band lower band right so you see in this whole area if you have create this uh, hail with reference to this Bollinger bands only you have made a lot of money now let's see the last example say BPCL in BPCL also I have done a lot of analysis so just I simply remove all those first remove all so that we can see the clear picture you see here how picture perfect Bollinger Bands in this BPCL 
you became short here and you became short let's lower period you just tsl and once you see you book your profit target here because your tsl has been hit you became long here as you see the price has closed above the central line and you remain long in that trade till it touches the upper band right you book your profits you don't do anything over here once you see the price closes below this lower central line you became short and your immediate target is the lower part of the bollinger band here you book your profits and you don't do anything and here you have a closing in the upper part of the central line you became long here with your stop loss somewhere close to here and then you have put your profit target on the upper part and for the rest of the steps you can do the according the key here is you should know your limits your position size and the correct understanding of the tool you should have your rules to be corrected you should have clear cut rules about this bollinger bands or the adx trading so if we again just simply put uh, for an example the adx also Uh, this average adoptive and then you can also use this average adoptive with reference to the values of your ADX right it's a supportive tool but uh, that doesn't mean that you just need to put uh, this on your all of your trades right so and uh, you can add any other studies uh, in this uh, fashion say I would actually prefer to use the MSE with this so I click on the study manager and I put add I put the MACD histogram so that I should also have a kind of uh, feeling about the strength in my trades like if I am going shorts from here below the center line what this MACD histogram whether it's uh, going downward or it's moving upward so I plot this MACD down and as soon as I find this closing towards the upside I should also see whether my MACD is moving up or not that's how I can also consider my trade to be on a strengthened side or not so that you can use a couple of things you can uh, make your own systems you can try various multiple things but uh, what should I suggest? Just keep it simple. Just remember, again, I'm just telling you a refresher. ADX value, when it goes above 30, you remain long or short, whatever be the trend direction. Jo bhi trend ho, aap usme 30 value pe either long or short pe enter karenge. And you get out, once you see, ADX value close to 60 in that the direction of your trade and in during that you can also use the Bollinger Bands with your ADX values right so uh, I hope uh, that is uh, all from my side today and uh, I hope this session is useful to you all so I'll see you all on next Thursday. This uh, last Thursday there was a problem with reference to the any meetings uh, server. That's why I couldn't take a class yesterday. But uh, I didn't want to miss the class, so I have taken this today. And uh, again, we're gonna meet uh, on uh, next week on Thursday with some other advanced topic, which uh, I'm discussing with you all in much more. If you have any questions, please uh, please feel free to contact our support staff and the team, and they will try to help you. And if you want to meet me personally, then please click a prior appointment, and then I'll be very uh, 
happy to assist you in any way, whatever I can. Right? So, have a good night, all of you, and uh, I'll meet you all next week on Thursday. Right? Happy trading. Trade with this stop loss with all the risk management in place with correct position size. Remember for this. Right? So, have a good night, all of you, and have a nice day. Bye-bye. Take care.